Greetings to the world. Welcome to the MLK National Day of Service. I'm Dinah Lynn Biggs, President and CEO of the Biggs Radio Network. Here to welcome today the President of a Safe Haven Foundation, Nellie Rowland. Welcome, Nellie. I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Poverty was the cornerstone of Dr. Martin Luther King's fight against inequity, an issue that he recognized crosses race, gender, and cultural lines, affecting people across the nation. He also knew that it was not solely an issue in America. Poverty pervaded the globe. As we pause to celebrate him, it is a wonderful opportunity to remind ourselves that he gave us the vision, the words, and inspired the hope that we needed to hear at a time of great injustice and division in America. No matter who you were or where you come from, his words of brotherly love, peace, and unity touched our hearts, stirred our souls, and truly resonated. And ultimately, they brought many people from all backgrounds together. Thankfully, they still do. As we move into a new era of American leadership and welcome President Biden, it is no doubt the most difficult and pivotal time in our history. He is going to need all of our help. I wonder what would happen if we all use this time of pain, reflection, and renewal to offer a sincere olive branch to those that may not be on the same page as ourselves. And that we instead channel our energy towards putting Dr. King's words into practice by focusing on supporting better policies and building better systems that work for all of us and that are designed to heal, prevent, and end poverty and foster more success on behalf of all mankind. In honor of Dr. King's birthday, let's resolve to recommit ourselves to the vision and expectations that he believed, lived, and died for. And let's keep his dreams of being judged solely for our character, peace, and unity alive by heeding his words and putting them into action. Perhaps it will finally be the response to his challenge and the urgent and most persistent question, what are we doing for others? The reality is that poverty and homelessness affects all of us, and it is one that we can all agree on. By prioritizing this issue, it will rebuild our greatest strength and assets in America, our people and paths to peace and prosperity. Let's do it for ourselves, but most of all, like his example, Dr. King did it for his children, my children, your children, and for all of our children's children too. We know it will not be easy, but we also know that it can be done, but it will take all of us doing our part to get to the promised land. On behalf of all of us at A Safe Haven and all frontline people serving the homeless, I wanna thank you all from the bottom of my heart for sharing this time with us please consider joining us in our mission to end homelessness. As a gift to honor Dr. King's legacy, I am now so excited to present you this beautiful new song and may it serve as America's clarion call. I hope you enjoy it and will share it with others. It's called Peace, It's Been a Long Time Coming by GDVO featuring the Shy Lights and Dan Roy Morgan. Thank you and God bless America. Let it be peace. Blessed love to each and every one. 
This song is a prayer for peace around the world. Written by Guy Daniel, who said then Roy Morgan prayed a prayer. And let the shy light sing the song. Peace. It's a long time coming. Stronger than 